All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you an inside the session, behind the scenes look at how I made Turn Off My Mind, an amazing track with lights. She's an incredible vocalist, and the song has some really interesting sounds, really interesting approach, so it's kind of a hybrid uh, of progressive house meets Melbourne Bounce, meets a little bit of country with some pedal steel. So I'm gonna dive in and listen to some of these sounds. First up uh, on the lead, there's this lead that alternates, and at first it starts with a pedal steel guitar. So I just fell in love with this plugin. Uh, this is a contact plugin called Pedal Steel. I think it's uh, Impact Soundworks. And I wanted to find a way, since I didn't have an actual pedal steel in the studio, I wanted to get that kind of melancholy, that longing. So, uh, you know, and with songs like Longest Road, actually, instead of pedal steel, uh, it was uh, a friend of mine, Tier Grant, was playing slide guitar, but a uh, similar effect. And even though in the Dead Mouse mix, he didn't use the slide guitar, I wanted to kind of reincarnate this sound uh, that I'd tried to do with kind of folk meets house music and country meets house music. So this pedal steel is the real key sound in this track. Because uh, the other components are pretty straightforward. That's a cornet sort of trumpet sound from Omnisphere. So that is a big part of the lead. The big part of this is that the leads um, take turns and that they alternate. So that's got a very specific attack, whereas the pedal steel obviously has that slower attack and it's more brooding, it's more sustained. So the cool thing with this track is that it was a true 50-50 collaboration. Just me on production and just lights on vocals. And she is great at engineering vocals. So it was almost drag and drop. She sent me the parts. After I had sent her the original track, she recorded the vocals, sent me the vocal parts, and it just locked in pretty much perfectly. I made some arrangement changes. So usually it doesn't work that smoothly. Um, you know, I met her for the first time at a Dead Mouse show in LA. Dead Mouse was playing at the Palladium and went, said hi, said, hey, maybe I'll send you some music. I'm a big fan. And it was pretty fast process. So I love when it can work like that. 50-50, very simple contracts and uh, very simple production. So as you can hear, let's listen to the full mix for a minute. It does channel a bit of that Longest Road Dead Mouse mix. You hear the way that the chord stabs go. So not a ton of chord changes in there, which is really good. If you can have it only be three or four chords in there, I think it's just three with a couple modifications. So melancholy, as always, that's what I love to have in my tracks. So I used the latest version of Massive for that, Massive X, and also Massive for the bass, too. Let's hear that. So bass is also pretty simple too. So that kind of pushes it forward. That's the Melbourne bounce vibe, a little of that style in there. And to kind of set the vibe, uh, I had this little cashmere sample in here, a little song starter. Just that little burst. That was really cool. Just that, these little elements add these cool little flourishes and touches. And the drums, uh, I kept really minimal. I wanted it to be more about showcasing the leads and different supporting sounds. So I think there's some loops from a spin and pack on Splice.
you can see how the lead propels that forward along with the chords. And there's a lot of treatments being done to make that lead go across the entire stereo spectrum. Let's hear that with the chords. Okay, so those are those components. Let's hear what the vocals sound like soloed. So as usual, I like to get the stems uh, split apart so the harmonies are a little separate in case uh, I want to change the harmonies or the doubles. So give me uh, dry and wet stems. Just about had it, just about had it with the madness and the rap packs and the tactics and the practice that it takes to get past this. If I get lit, can I last this? If I run fast and I pack. So this is very different than usual for my track. She's almost rapping the lyrics. Uh, it's very fast delivery, but it just worked. It's just different. I wanted something a little quirky. So she just nailed it. And, you know, usually they want longer delivery, have it be more sung. So she, for those verses, um, she has those certain cadences that fit in there really well and add that tension. But then it's also, you know, real melodies. It's really sung properly in the rest. Can I let go? Like elastics. Can I let go? Small talk is cheap, gotta... So there's a lot of uh, automation on the reverb there. That's really key to change the emotion. You don't want to just douse it in reverb. Drink might be nice, hold a little longer. Make it on ice. I've been stuck on your line, I've been wasting my time. I wanna turn off my mind. I wanna turn off my mind. So that's the lead, uh, wet version, and then double. So honestly, not that many elements and the less you can have and keep the track going, keep it feeling full, the better. Makes it easier to mix as well. Let's hear a little more of that slide guitar in the bridge. So there's some cool treatments in there. I used a plugin called Pitch Monster, um, kind of an obscure plugin I hadn't used before, and that's automating her vocals to kind of have this word painting, this little word play where, uh, as she says, turn off my mind, it's going, turn off my mind. It's going pitching down and sort of slurring the speech and bringing the pitch down a bit. So let's see if I can get that to work in real time. that was on the dry Off my mind. Oh, here it is I'd like to have the dedicated track for those effects Turn off my mind. so that is pitch monster which can do some pretty drastic effects Turn off my mind. just fun to have little bits of automation there it doesn't have to make the track but just little flourishes little things to push it forward so that is an inside look at my new song with lights. It's called Turn Off My Mind. It's on Tiesto's label, Musical Freedom. So excited for you to hear this one and hopefully learn something new from this video. See you next time.